Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet Bills. Today's gonna be a little bit of a short video. So a while back, I brought this uh, red cat. It is called the uh, Prana. It's a one-tenth scale buggy style. Uh, I did an unboxing on it, but I never posted a video because I was just so disappointed in this car whenever I bought it. Now, this car is a cheap RC car. Uh, I would put it in the category of like young kid uh, that might that you might be trying to get a car for to just see if they're even interested in getting into this hobby. Right. I want to give it its best chance, so I'm going to run it down my little driveway right here first and see what the top speed is, and then I'm going to take it down through the field a couple of times to see if it handles up. Now this is running on a nickel metal Kayad battery. Let's get in on its test runs because uh, I am slowly running out of daylight. <laughs> I've got my GPS just kind of sitting inside the body on this thing. It is only a two wheel drive buggy. I forgot to say that previously. But let's go ahead and take it down the road real quick and see what it does. All right. So I will say right now it does perform better on the road than it did whenever I was in the dirt. Man, let's look how I just got the GPS just like jankily jammed in here. So that is 21 miles per hour that it hit. Not bad for a buggy for such a cheap car. I'll try to put a price on the screen for it. So maybe my first testing, I might have had the wrong impression on this car. I mean, here it comes right there. Oh, ow. <laughs> That's what happens when you watch the camera and don't watch what the car's doing. Oh no! <laughs> I broke it already! All I did was hit my foot! <laughs> this should be an easy fix though. <laughs> this little cap just popped off, so we'll pop that back on. Alright, there we go. It's back together. See if the other side's okay. It is. Here she comes back. That is one nice thing about the two-wheel drive is <laughs> you can definitely do some cool little burnouts with them. Uh, I might be changing my mind about this because the first time I took this out, I wasn't enjoying this car. Uh, this time, I'm rather enjoying actually playing with it, but it's also on a much flatter surface than what I played with it on previously. Can't get a full donut out of it. All right, enough of that. Let's take it down through the field. I want to see what it can do through the field. Because that's where I had issues with it was in low grass. I kept having it get stuck and not want to actually turn or come back to me. And maybe it was just that day. Now this is a built-in all-in-one controller on this with the ESC and controller. Like on this hard type ground, so that's pretty good. Oh, we got some donuts on it. Now, my sand is a little bit damp today, so she might be getting too much traction. Woo! You know what? I changed my mind. I like this car. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up this video here because I just ran out of batteries. The Piranha, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's a very fun car. Uh, I originally came out here because I wasn't too happy with it because I deleted my first video because it didn't act right, didn't drive right. Now, on very short grass, it seems to do perfectly fine on, on concrete, cement, any of that, it does great on. It still didn't do as well on the tall grass in my yard. Uh, just, it kind of gets hung up. But also one thing I realized with this is the battery. Uh, I can't remember if this thing comes with a battery or not. Uh, I will put that in the description down below. But on the battery, I used a 3000 uh, battery in it and it was running perfectly fine. I'm talking about steering work rate, plenty of power. It was doing good. And I put a 2000 battery into it and it all of a sudden, whenever I'm at full throttle, I lose steering on it. Like just have no steering whatsoever. I don't know if that's an issue with the receiver or if that's an issue because the battery can't put out enough power. Now I plan on upgrading this car to a LiPo car, but all in all, I approve of this car for the second time around. I was just getting a higher rating battery for it because they seem to do a lot better. The lower rating, it just sucks too much power with the motor and stuff and you lose your steering. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all like this video, 
don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the piranha. I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all for watching.